when you make creative works, the more successful you you become, the more people you affect. And the more people you affect, the more likely you are to have people who feel offended, whether you meant it or not. They come to the YouTubers, you're not allowed to make this kind of content, you're not make, allowed to make that kind of content, you're not allowed to have that opinion, right? And once you start letting them enforce it with, like, law, once you let people enforce opinion with law, then that's when they have full control. Harada was talking on Twitter about how careful people have to be with character designs. Oh yeah, I saw that. I mean, it sounds like he's, because he's the face of it, he sounds like he does all the work, and he's also the face. People harass him with all their qualms about this character being too contrived, or that character being misrepresentative of an entire community. I think if you're involved in any kind of creative work, you'd be wise to listen, of course, but not let loud voices 100% control your art. Because if you allow art and the creative arts to be swayed purely by loudness of voice, then that's the start of the end of freedom of speech, freedom of expression, all kinds of freedoms. And it may not sound like it at first. It may sound like it's all in the, f it's all in the name of fairness and listening to the people and community, but actually there are times when people stronghold their way against creativity to the point that you're impinging upon like freedom of expression and once you allow that to happen then you allow all sorts of other freedoms to to disappear as well so anyway sorry i got really excited about that so i can choose between these different moves huh? offense is never given only taken hmm i wouldn't agree with that Sometimes people want to be offensive, for sure. Regardless of whether you want to offend someone or not, sometimes people will get offended. So just because you didn't want to be offensive doesn't mean you weren't offensive. And just because you wanted to be offensive doesn't mean someone will be offended. Which I'm gonna be honest, if you are a content creator, you'll see a lot of content, you'll see a lot of comments where people are trying to be offensive. The goal is to offend you. So actually the only way to lose to a comment like that is to be offended. So Joy, just by choosing not to be offended, you've already won. Because you haven't let them get what they wanted. Anyway, it's interesting. You need to get as many wins on stream as possible. That sounds crazy. Yeah, Ryota, we talked about this briefly um, earlier. About Harada not having to deal with offending people. But, you know, this is just a lesson that you learn. When you make creative works, the more successful you you become, the more people you affect. And the more people you affect, the more likely you are to have people who feel offended, whether you meant it or not. But personally, as a creator myself... Oh yeah, sorry, the reason I was asking people about if you're creators is because I'd like to do a stream where we just talk about content creation and how to go about it. But going back to the Harada thing, I wholly support any decision to just go forward with whatever it is you want to put in your game. Because people have the option to pay with their wallets. If they don't want this content, they can just not pay for it and not buy it. Obviously, hate crimes are hate crimes. So if you make content which is going to outright cause humans to go out and be violent towards other people, then I would consider that like a hate crime, right? I wouldn't be, wouldn't support that. But if you're talking about creative decisions about who is in your game and what's in your game, like I know it sounds terrible to say this, but even if you decide that only one race of human can be in a certain game, isn't it your decision? If you make the game and you've decided that only beavers can be in this game, or in this game, only blue hedgehogs, basically, it's up to you. And if people don't like it, they don't have to buy it. But they it's easy to forget. It's easy to feel like, oh, because this exists, hate will be caused by it. But I think as, you, as we've seen time and again, by hundreds of millions of people playing video games every day, 
that hundreds of millions of people play video games all day every day and it's not causing violence. This game has not directly made me want to be violent towards another human being in real life. I'm sure that there are people who have played this game and then after that gone and been violent to someone else. But who is to say that the game caused them to do it? Because if games did cause violence, wouldn't every single person who played the game do something violent afterwards? I think it shows that if only some people act violently after playing the game, that's not a cause, but it can exacerbate the problem. If you're a violent person and you play a violent game, I can see where the two could get into a sort of a vicious circle and cause each other, feed off each other. The personality feeds off the game, the game feeds off the personality, the person becomes more violent. I can understand that. We're talking about violent people playing violent games. But I've never seen a peaceful person play a video game and then become violent out of, with, with no choices. Anyway, what I'm trying to say in a, in a million words, even though I'm trying to, I wish I could only say it in one, is that with creative works, I don't think it's a good sign when people submit to pressure to change something just because some group wants it different. Because once you start causing game makers, musicians, actors, movie writers, once these people start submitting to pressure, it's only our personal freedoms that come next. It's just going to be a cascading thing. Movie people aren't allowed to make that kind of script. Games aren't allowed to make that kind of character. You're not allowed to have women in your game. You're not allowed to have men in your game. You're not, to, you're not allowed to have this race or that race in your game. And then after that, they come to the YouTubers, you're not allowed to make this kind of content, you're not make, allowed to make that kind of content, you're not allowed to have that opinion, right? And once you start letting them enforce it with, like, law, once you let people enforce opinion with law, then that's when they have full control over government as well. Because if you're not allowed to think in certain ways, then you're not allowed to rise up against the government when you think the government isn't acting in your best interest. Okay. So it's getting political, and I don't want to get too political, but you know what I mean. What I'm trying to say is, if you submit to pressure in a video game, your your per your civil rights are coming next. There, I was able to say it in a simple way. Where are the combos? I'm sorry, I don't have time for this anymore. Just show me the combos, and then let's play the game. 